Hey everyone, I want to go over how to do the uh, optimal lineup with uh, for solver for the um, basketball. I've done uh, similar videos on this on football and baseball, um, but it always helps to kind of see it with the actual sport and with the actual different preferences that you're gonna have to set up. So we're gonna go through a basketball. So right here is what I we start off with. This is just simply uh, an export of the players from FanDuel. And we're going to do a, a FanDuel example. So we've got all the players' names, their position. The um, This is their average points per game. We're going to just use that as like what their projection is. Um, in another video, I'll show how we can get projections. But um, this will just be what we'll use for, just for the example. Um, and here's the salary. The rest of the information is just, is just filler stuff. So first thing we want to do is create a, a new column that's called a ratio. What this will do is, because when, when you look at it and scroll down, this is a small example, there's only 88 lines, but Solver only does 200 lines. So if we happen to have like 400 players, it's only going to look at the first 200. So you want to get all the best players up there. So let's uh, start off with just creating uh, points per dollar. So we'll do a ratio of fantasy points divided by salary. I'm going to copy this down by holding the, the lower right. When you get the little plus, you can copy and drag it down. once we have all that we're going to sort. You can either go up to data and then sort or you can just put your cursor on the item you want sorted and uh, press this little um, button here and now it's going to sort from the best players to the worst just on or on points per dollar basically so like you got all these small dollar guys here but they're also getting decent amount of points so now we have that, that we need to start setting up for the uh, solver to run. So we need to create our, uh, our variables. First one is if we want it to include them. This is going to be um, all zeros or ones. What this is going to mean is we put, we put zero in to start it off. And when you run solver, solver is going to put a one in all the players that it wants to see. So now we have to go through each position. So I'm going to put point guard here. Uh, let's see. Shooting guard. Whoops. Let's do that again. Shooting guard. And we'll just go put all the all the five positions in for um, FanDuel. So there's our five positions. Now we kind of have to put a formula in here in order for Solver to evaluate it. So we're checking if this guy is in this position position so we check if b2 which is the position is equal to quote pg if it is then we're gonna do a one times this cell otherwise we're gonna put, put double quotes so it's just basically a blank cell so we press enter now it's it is a point guard how so but the formula is doing one times zero oh two which is zero so one times zero is zero if this happened to be a one like if solver wanted to put him in the, in the lineup this would be this would also show up as a one so we put a zero so now what we gotta do we gotta need to put that formula in four more times for each one so if b2 equals SG, then it's one times this, otherwise quote quote equals if uh, B2, cell B2 equals quote PF, then it's one times this, otherwise quote quote. Do this two more times. And then one times this, quote, quote. And the last time for centers. Then it's one times this, or quote, quote. So it's the same formula all the way around. We're just putting the different uh, positions in. Now I'm going to copy this all the way down. You can do it different ways. You can do Control-C to copy as a shortcut. You can do Edit, Copy, 
and then it paste. I just like to drag it from the lower right. So you know you got zeros all over the place. Like here, this is the column where the center was. So if we go over to here, we'll see is that the, the position person is a uh, center. Sorry. So now we've got all our positions set up. Now we need to start putting in a few variables. So first we want to maximize our score. So to do that, we're going to use this formula called sum product. And what that does, it just it multiplies two different arrays times each other. An array is just a whole list of, of numbers. So the first array will be this, if it's 0 or 1. And then we do comma. And now it has to be the same, 2 to 88. But whatever column we're pulling um, is what it's going to multiply it from. So we're looking for score, so we're going to take the fantasy points per game, because this is our projections, at least for this example. So we've got 02 times, 02 to 088 times E2 to E88, and parentheses. See, in the, let me scroll over, and see we got a score of 0 here. If, say, like this person w became a 1, like Solver picks a 1 here, all of a sudden we got a score of 22.3, because when we scroll over, this person has a 22.3 in here. So now we're going to do salary. So now the salary is the same deal. Sum product. We're going to do this again. 02 to 088. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you have more lines, you could do up to 200. So you could set this up to 200. Then um, it'll always pull the, the correct number. If you, if you have less, that's, that would be fine. And now times the salary. G88. These numbers have to be the exact same. Uh, they both have to be from 2 to 88. Press enter. Now I scroll over. We'll look. And salary is 4400 because that's what uh, this first guy, Bayless, is. Next one is the number of players in total. And, well, actually, first we got salary. So the, we have to have a limit of 60,000 because that's what the uh, maximum is for FanDuel. So this ne number needs to stay below 60,000. Next is number of players. FanDuel has nine players. And we're going to total this up. So we're going to do equals sum. And we're just going to sum up this whole column. So that should equal the one. Yep, it's one player because there's only one person picked in here. And now the last item is we need to get all of the uh, positions set. Because FanDuel makes you have a certain number. We get two players on each of these and only one center. So that's how the total of nine players has to come up. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do equal sum. We're going to sum this up. Press enter. And there's one one point guard so far equals sum zero shooting guards and we're going to do this all the way down for all five of them because solver needs something to look at And the last one, we'll have all our variables set up, and then we just got to put the restraints into solver. There. See, so right now we've got one player picked as a point guard. A solver would go through this, what it's going to do, and pick all the best players to maximize the score, and but while staying under the restraints that we choose. Like, say if you pick this guy, so now so we got two players, here's the total salary, here's the total score, and it's a center, and it's a point guard that have been taken so far. So I'm going to put zeros in for everything, just to get it back to the, to the start. And now to go to Solver, you go to Data. Uh, you can't really see it here, but this is called Solver right there. And it'll pull up your Solver 
box. And now we're going to set our objective here first. Objective is what we want to do, maximize and minimize something. We want to maximize the cell. We want the highest score possible, so we put Y1 maximum. And what, what are we going to change? We want to change these numbers right here. See, 02 to 088. By changing that, it pick, that's basically the way they picked, a solver will pick a player. Next, we're going to start adding our constraints. So the first constraint is we want the salary to be less than 60,000. Our next one is with the number of players has to be exactly equal to nine players. Next one, point guard has to be exactly equal to two. This has to be exactly equal to two also. We're going to go all the way down. This has to be equal to two and this has to be equal to one or whatever we have in, in here. Now we've got that. The last one we want to do is highlight all these zeros or zeros here and we're going to change it to BIN, binary. What that's telling you it, solver is to only put a zero or a one in there. If you don't do that it'll do like two-thirds of one guy, one-third of another guy whatever which would maximize the salary but obviously you can't pick two-thirds of a guy so you need binary in order to set it up right click OK so now we've got all our criteria here so let's review it real quick we're maximizing the score by changing the zeros or ones which is in here we're making sure it's a zero or one by putting binary we want Y2 to be le less than or equal to X2 which is the salary we can't have it over 60,000 and there has to be at least nine players and it'd be two point guards, two shooting guards, and so on all the way down so with its total of nine players the last thing you want to do is change this to simplex LP that's just the best method for for solver for um, for what we're doing and then we're done we'll click solve it'll take a couple seconds there solver found an integer, integer solution with intolerance all constraints are satisfied click OK. There, so now we Solver picked nine players. This equaled out two point guards, two shooting guards, all the way down. It, it totaled right exactly to 60,000. The total score was 279. And we've got them all, all the players here. So now, with listing everybody here, I'll just show you a quick way on how to, because it's kind of tough to see, you got ones here, um, which players are actually picked. So we'll just make this cell say for their last name to show uh, how um, who, who gets picked. So we're basically going to put an if statement in here. If, we want to check if this is a one. If this equals to one, that means it was picked. So then we want to put their last name in here. And if it wasn't picked, then we put, if it's not a 1, then what do we want to put? We'll just put double quotes. I'll click Enter. And the last name is Bayless. We see now if we copy this down, see Mayo was picked. No, this person wasn't picked, but we got names here. I'm going to go all the way down to 88. And now here's just a quick way of seeing... Uh, what person was picked. And you can do the exact same thing if you wanted to get their position in there. If this equals to 1, then let's put their position. Otherwise, double quote. Oh, why did that not work? Um, oh, let's try this again. Okay, equals if the cell equals to one, which it does, then we just want to bring in whatever cell it's in B2. Otherwise, double quote. Press end back parentheses. There, there we go. I don't know what happened the first time, but so it's a point guard. And if we look at it again, so if 
here's the criteria. That is O2 equal to 1? If it's yes, then it does the first part of this. If it's, an, if it's not, then it does the second part, which is quote, quote. So we can copy this down, all the way down. And now we got our positions. So here's our optimal lineup. And you can even adjust this if you had um, doing it for a different site. Maybe um, the other site was only 50,000 salary. You could change this to 50,000, rerun it, and then it's going to pick the players differently. Obviously, you're going to have to change the other criteria and other variables and stuff. But um, so that's it. That's for the example. Hope uh, this is helpful for, for you. Thanks a lot.